I'm Greg Main. I'm Crane Driver here at Hutchison's. I'm Craig Hancock. I worked actually Thursday on the ship that's out there at the moment, driving the crane. I'm one of the survivors. I've actually apparently got a job to go back to there, but uh, a lot of good people have been sacked. Went home that day, had dinner, went to bed, got woken up by a friend saying check your email. It was midnight by that stage. Read the email and saying don't come back, you're basically sacked. A midnight text message sacked 100 workers. This dispute is about the age-old fight with workers and capital. On August 7, workers at Hutchison Ports in Sydney and Brisbane received their marching orders by text and email, informing them that their positions had been made redundant. I think it has major ramifications for everybody in Australia. If they succeed to do what they're trying to do here, there'd be nothing to stop them going across the road to the other companies and then on to other industries. According to the Maritime Union of Australia, the MUA, Hutchinson's plan is to fully automate the port. Getting rid of these workers is the first step in that process. If an employer can do this, whereby they can just remove a workforce just to de-unionise or take away the rights of those workers, well, that's just unacceptable and we'll fight that with everything we've got. Community gatherings were established at Port Botany in Sydney and Fisherman's Island in Brisbane in support of the sacked workers. The only people in this company since they've been in Australia that has done their job properly is um, the wharfies, the crane drivers, the straddle drivers, the Ross operators. We're the only ones who's actually done our job properly. The management has been that poor. The workers have worked hard and gone over and above to get this place operating. They've all put their heart and soul in to make it a success. And the new management have sacked the original management who knew how to operate this terminal and have taken over and um, run it into the ground. The bosses are on the offensive against penalty rates, the minimum wage and the right to organise. They have a willing accomplice in the federal government, but the power of organised workers and the community can stop them, as long as they are mobilised. I've been in the industry a long time and I've, it's not the first time I've been on a picket line trying to fight the boss. but. Uh, you know, it's a worthwhile cause and I'll be here as long as it takes to get a victory out of it. What's happened? The Australian Government and Competition Policy invited a third stevedoring company in to compete with the existing two and ultimately the only variable costs are labour costs. So they've been trying to reduce their labour costs. My name's Alan, I'm a wharfie here in Sydney. I have been so for about 35 years. To be treated the way that these workers have been treated is appalling. To be sacked in the way they've been sacked by text with no consultation, no discussion, no negotiation. I think it's just shocking and I can't believe the humanity of the company to be able to do these sorts of things. Hutchison's are the largest stevedoring company on the planet and we just can't allow these acts of injustice to occur. Anyone that, that is prepared to stand up on safety or any kind of union involvement, they're the ones that have been targeted. They've sacked all of the MUA delegates, even though they're more experienced and they've been doing this for longer. So it's not about money, it was about anyone that spoke up to management ever to question rosters or yeah, safety. Yeah. They're all gone. We, being the union, have argued that the employer is in breach of the enterprise agreement in regards to consultation, uh, dispute settling procedure and appropriate negotiations with the union. The EAs are legally binding, it can't be changed by either party without going through certain processes and from what I can see Hutchison have just torn that up and said well we don't care, we're going to do what we're going to do. We've got a great deal of hope that the federal court is going to recognise that the enterprise agreement was negotiated in good faith and give us the outcome that we deserve. Uh, if they don't, then we'll take the fight on. On August 13, the federal court ruled in favour of the MUA. The ruling said Hutchison had failed to properly consult with its workforce and had ignored a dispute resolution clause in its enterprise bargaining agreement. The court will now hear the union's full case against the sackings on August 31. Now, round two of the longest struggle to maintain jobs at Hutchinson begins.